Gamers, I've upgraded almost every aspect of my Create Mod world, from automating the production of stone, andesite, wood, iron, and more, along with a train to automatically move items to my storage warehouse. But one thing we haven't upgraded yet is the mine. So it's time to establish a brand new mining operation. Let's get started. First step, big surprise, we need to find a location to start our new mining colony. Oh my god, that scared me. What the hell? Okay, after scouting out a couple locations, I've decided on this spot right here. It does need a little bit of excavating and flattening off, so let's get to it. Once all the excavating was done, I then just went straight into building, starting with the pillars. Once I had them all laid out, I began filling in the walls with some oak planks and stripped oak logs, which I feel works really nicely in conjunction with spruce pillars. For the second floor, I incorporated some of the spruce window panes from Create Mod, along with some copycat panels above and below those. Up at the roof, I went with my signature curved style and opted for cobbled deep slant for the main roof block, along with some small chimneys. And to finish up, I added some small support beams using copycat steps and slabs. Okay, and there is our main building all completed. Now I actually have a really cool idea for under here. I mean obviously we're going to be adding in a floor here uh, eventually, but I've left out a little gap of the supports here because I want to actually make this a spot where we can park our mining machine. And then we'll be able to hook that up through the ceiling with some portable storage interfaces to unload the mine into our sorting system that's going to be up in here. So logically I think the next step now is to start building the mining machine. So I went ahead and grabbed a whole bunch of items that we're going to be using for this machine. Alright so we need to design this so that it actually fits under here. We shouldn't be too much of an issue. So uh, yeah, let's start placing our actual drills down here. Let's maybe go with a five by five shape. We should be able to excavate a whole bunch of area. Hell yeah, look at that. We've even got some leftover ones as well. We could probably actually extend them maybe on the sides here. All right, so attached to this, we're going to need a whole bunch of storage. Otherwise, all of the blocks that we're going to be mining are just going to be thrown onto the ground. So I've opted instead of chests, I've gone with some item vaults just because it's a bit easier and tidier. So let's make that and then we can extend this uh well i really didn't make enough did i uh what the hell um i'll be back in a second all right i'm back with enough item vaults let's go ahead and place the rest of those in there we go hell yeah that's looking awesome also i do apologize if you can hear strange like eating and baby sounds in the background it's just my son now uh, you know he's he's having a he's having a sweet feed at the moment okay now this does look kind of weird at the moment so let's maybe give it like a bit of a frame so that it looks uh you know a bit nicer All right, I think that's looking pretty cool. It's nice and, you know, contained now. And now I think we do need like a visual way that, you know, this would uh, actually move because we're going to have a minecart at the back that it's actually going to move on. But I think it'd look nice to have maybe some like tracks, kind of like tank tracks or something like that, that it would like use to move with. So I've got some cobbled deep slate here. And let's maybe just make like a track like this and then we'll come back around this way and bang, there we go. We have like some treads or track. I don't, I don't know what they're called, but... I'm probably showing a picture of it here, you know? And of course, let's repeat this on the other side as well. Hell yeah, that's looking pretty sweet. Let's also maybe link all of this stuff together at the back here. Just like that. There we go. That is starting to take shape now. That is looking pretty cool. Now we do need to add all of the technical stuff at the back here, including our deployers and our mechanical plows. Now, if you're wondering how I'm knowing how to do all this, it's because I have a private server that I've been playing on with one of my mates and my wife as well. And I have made one of these before, although it doesn't look, uh, you know, as nice as this. So I do have a little bit of experience with building these things. All right, so from here, we're going to then place in a powered rail. It doesn't really matter what kind of rail we have. And uh, and then a minecart there. Then we're also going to grab out our cart assembler and place that on right there as well. Also just realized I forgot glue. Oh my God, I will get that later. Don't worry. So these deploys here are going to be placing in some powered rails and also a redstone torch to power those rails. So we're going to set these deploys to only take powered rails and then this one over here to only take redstone torches. And then we actually need to add some storage on here that uh, these deploys are going to take from. So let's just add some chests like that. And then we can put in our powered rails and our redstone torches. And those will just automatically get taken from the chest to these two deploys. Now this will work, uh, but eventually we're going to run out of rails. You know, it's just going to keep going until we run out of rails. We could just fill this chest full of rails, but that's not really practical. What we can do instead is actually use some of these mechanical plows here. And so if we just add a little extension off the back here and have like this little arm that comes down, actually let's uh, do stairs there instead. 
just like this, and then we can place our mechanical plows on here and here. And what these are going to do is basically just scoop up the rails and the redstone torches and basically just cycle them back through the chest and then to the deployers so that we just have like, you know, an infinite amount that we can actually move. And now just for some finishing touches, we do have a pretty nice spot here to add a seat on so that we can actually sit on our mining machine here, which would be pretty cool. Next, we need a spot to add a portable storage interface. This is how we're going to unload from the vault here into our sorting and storage system up above here. And I'll add this other one once we actually get to, uh, you know, this stuff. And so now the final thing to do is to just go ahead and glue everything together. And so, uh, yeah, this is pretty tedious and boring. So I'm going to get all of this done right now. All right. And now with everything glued, as you can see, we've got green boxes around everything. We should now be able to uh, actually yoink one of these redstone torches from here and go ahead and actually change this to lock rotation. Sorry if you can hear my son in the background. And then we're going to also power this with a redstone torch like so. And also if we then go ahead and pick this up with a wrench, we're going to see that uh, I have missed a bunch of places. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, that should be fixed now. Let's try this again. Bang and pick it up. And yes, there we go. Nothing is left behind. Sweet. And so now let's actually go ahead and find the spot where we want to park this at. Yeah, that looks pretty good. That gives like a nice like parked drill kind of look. I really like that actually. That's cool. Let's grab our storage interface and place it right. Oh my God. And yes, between this block here, they are actually connected up. So that way we can now add a funnel to this to take items out of our mining drill. Hell yeah. Yeah, dude. Okay, and just before we can test this drill out, we uh, we have a bit of a problem. In the previous episode, I had a commented idea for someone saying to basically just fill in this bridge because it was previously just a floating platform. And now we have another commenter that is uh, suggesting to make the bridge either a proper dam or a proper bridge. Oh, you can never make them happy, can you? So I'm going to make this into a dam wall using some iron bars. So I'm going to go grab those and get started building right now. All right, and there we go. It's all done. Uh, yeah, I didn't bother with it time lapse just because visibility is kind of crap under here anyway and it was just kind of quick and boring please forgive me for how wonky this looks uh it was kind of hard to do on like a not exactly even and diagonal space but i did as best as i could i also added this little side walkway thing as well if you ever find yourself in the water you can just come up here and walk along side of the track here and i also added another one on the other side too i don't know i just thought it was a cool idea so yeah let's head back to our mine here we're gonna pick it up and find a cave to dig in and test it out okay here's the main cave that i do all of my mining in. Let's jump down. Oh my god. Oh, it's also very dangerous down here. So uh, we need to be on our freaking A game down here, man. I'm going to try and find a little secluded spot to test out our miner. Okay, right here seems like a pretty good spot to test it out. Uh, let's actually maybe start this a little further back right here. Oh, and I just realized it's not going to be able to place. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. What the hell, man? Sniping me. Get the hell away from me, dude. Oh my god, dude. It's a whole army. And this one's got freaking knockback on his bow. Oh my god. Yeah, like I was saying, I just realized if there's uh, an empty block here, it's not going to be able to place the rail because, uh, you know, there's nothing to place it on. So that might be a potential upgrade that we might do in the future. Oh my god, dude. Just leave me alone. But we can actually get this up and running right now. Let's just go ahead and give this a push. And once we've pushed it enough, there we go. It's now just going to start moving by itself. Uh, um, why is it not going? Okay, these plows might be a little bit too close. Let's try, uh, let's fix that real quick. Okay, so let's put it into build mode. And all we should have to do is just move this all back one. Just like that. Let's place those back on. So now it leaves an extra little gap here. So it doesn't just dig it up straight away. Like so. And there we go. This should now hopefully be running a little bit more smoothly. And remove that. And uh, let's go ahead and just give this another push. And there we go. Oh my god, that is so much better. And yeah, so as you can see, well, you can't really see but you can hear it, I guess. It's just going to automatically mine through anything that it comes in front of. I think it might have a bit of a problem if there's any lava, but that, uh, yeah, that might also be another upgrade for another time because we do still have a lot of stuff we need to get done in this episode. But yeah, that basically just confirms that our miner is working perfectly. Our vault should be filling up nicely with a whole bunch of items that we can use to test our sorting system with. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and stop the test right there. And yeah, so as you can see, in literally like maybe 20 seconds, it's dug out this entire tunnel, which probably would have taken me like... 20 minutes, dude. So you can really see how powerful these things can be, especially if we made it much bigger of like a mining area as well. It would be kind of insane the amount of things we could do. So yeah, thankfully that test worked. Let's head back up to our brand new mining operation and get started with the next thing. Okay, now that we're back at our brand new mining facility, I, yeah, I, I basically want to make our own mine. Instead of having to go all the way over to that cave or into our crappy little mine here, I want to make something way better over here at our new mining 
training facility. So I'm going to get started on a brand new building and I'll explain what this building is going to be uh, once we built it. So yeah, let's get started. So this building is going to be primarily pillars of which I opted for polished andesite blocks because they look pretty pillory. I detailed all the pillars with spruce fences and then moved on to creating a top rectangular platform with some supports and a fence too. Next, I created this top section, which you'll just have to wait and see what it's for. And finally, I added an oak floor and some stairs to get up to the top. Okay, and there we go. There's our building all completed. I also just went ahead and linked power up as well, all the way from over here. I routed it around the back behind our new building and I've branched one of those power sources off into our first building. And then I have one that goes up into our new building all the way up to the top. So speaking of uh, up at the top, let's uh, go up there. And I mean, you probably already know what this building is for. I'm just going to reveal it now. We're going to be adding a mineshaft elevator that'll go all the way down to bedrock from here. I uh, actually need to remove all of these because they're in the way. So we can actually, uh, we can actually just design it down here. We don't have to be all the way up there. It'd probably be easier down here as well. So firstly, we need to figure out how big we want to make this. Now we could go with three by three, but we do have room to actually extend it out one more on each side. So it's more of like a rectangle. So for the floor, I think spruce slabs will look nice. They contrast nicely with the oak. Then let's just grab out some of our detailing blocks here. So for all of the corners, we're going to have these pillars, I guess. Now, as for the front and the back, I reckon we should have something like this. And then we could actually put our andesite door right here. I think that'll look nice. And then at the back, let's just go with some more spruce fence gates like so. Now, as for these two sides, uh, we need some specific things such as a redstone contact and also contraption controls. So we're going to put these controls here. And this is basically what's going to allow us to choose a floor and then, you know, go to it. And then on here, we're going to be placing a redstone contact and I believe we actually need to rotate it this way yes and so this is the thing that's going to basically detect what floor we're at and uh, you know stop to it so we're gonna head all the way back up to the top I don't think we really need to add a floor up here but I just kind of want to anyway uh, let's figure out where it's gonna be in contact with which is going to be right here like so next let's head all the way back down and place the one for our ground floor here and as you can see once they're connected up they actually glow to you know signify that we have reached the floor and I've got an extra five in here for some various different levels that we'll be going down to. I want one for diamond level, for bedrock level, and then I've just got some extras in case if we find some like caves or something we want to add a floor at. Okay, now as for the roof, uh, we don't really have too much space here to work with. So let's just go with something super simple like this. I reckon will look nice. And then as for in here, let's place some iron bars on the top rows. I reckon that'll look nice. And maybe up here, let's just go with some more spruce fence gates. And so now it's time to go ahead and glue all of this together which should be pretty easy. We literally just do that and that's that's it. Wow. And so we've pretty much done everything except for connecting it to an elevator pulley. So we're going to head all the way back up to the top here and we're actually going to finish constructing this thing because I kind of left it open because I had an idea for the sides here which would be pretty cool as well. Okay, I think I figured it out. So we're going to place our elevator pulley right here and then I believe if we right click, actually we might need to power it first. Now we need to hook this up to the power. So we're going to do something like that, that, and that. And hopefully that's going to work. And then my cool idea for uh, a little extra pizzazz, I guess, is adding another shaft there. And then I made a couple of flywheels. We're going to put one there. Oh, dude, that looks so cool. And then I've got one on the other side as well, of course. And there we go. We have like this little accent thing. I don't really know what it's meant to be. Also, I don't know if this is too fast. I did make a rotational speed controller. So if we need to, we can add that in. But yeah, I guess we're going to test it first. So I think we right click this. Yes, there we go. It's going to connect up all the way down to our elevator down there. And as you can see, our little contacts as well have changed and they are now like uh, elevator specific ones. And this has also become a contraption. So now if we go ahead and jump in, we should be able to select a floor. Right now, I believe this should be zero. And if we select one, oh my God, that is so fast. I kind of like it though. It's going to be nice and quick to get down into the mines. So there we go. We've got a nice little walkway here as well. And if we just go ahead and scroll to zero and then right click, we'll go all the way back down to the bottom floor. That is so cool, dude. So now my idea is to send this back up. Also, I should probably make a button here because I believe if we power this, it'll call the elevator back down. That is so cool. Um, but yeah, I'm going to send that back up and I'm going to go grab a couple of things just to test something out. So give me a second. Okay, so for my 
my idea. Firstly, if we right click this, we should be able to, yes, take that out of contraption mode and now we can edit it. And so basically, instead of having to manually dig out a massive tunnel all the way down to bedrock, what we should be able to do is make these into full blocks just temporarily and then slap some mechanical drills on the bottom of these, preferably facing the right way. And I don't see why this wouldn't work. Uh, so we're just going to basically hope and pray because this is going to save a lot of time. So let's glue this back up to the main structure. I also want to go ahead and just add a couple of double chests on here just to collect all of the items. Uh, so we can't really place them in some very nice uh, spots. So let's just do like that. That's okay. Uh, it's just temporary. Don't worry. Now, if we go ahead and connect this back up, all of our drills should be attached. Yes. And now if we actually, oh, how am I going to continuously send it down? Yeah, I don't actually know how to make it continuously go. So we might have to dig just a single block kind of uh, line all the way down so that we can place our redstone contacts. We'll just place one all the way down at bedrock for now. And then we can just let that thing go and dig out a giant tunnel. Okay, I'm going to get this one block wide tunnel dug. And yeah, I'll meet you guys down there. Okay, we're all the way down here at bedrock. I believe if we zoom in, yes, there it is. Oh, that is so weird, what the hell? So we're gonna place a contact right here. Now I'm going to uh, go all the way back up to the top by just, uh, you know, filling in this whole column here. So uh, give me a second. Okay, here we are, we're back up at the top. Let's call the elevator back down to us. Yes, it looks like the drills are working as well. Okay, I'm gonna set this to go to negative one. And that's going to go all the way down to our bedrock level. So I'm going to send this on its way. And oh my God, that thing is super quick. Jesus Christ. Okay. Well, um, yeah, I'll be back once this thing has hit our bedrock level. Okay. It looks like we have hit the bottom. So what I'm going to do now is bring the elevator back up. Oops. Um, there we go. Jesus Christ. Even though that's so fast, it's still, you know, pretty slow. And bang, there's the elevator. Let's see how much crap we got. Oh my God. That is so good, dude. I do not have to mine deep slate for ages now. That is so good. All right, let's send this back down to negative one. Oh my God. I kind of want to get off at that cave, but uh, it looks like we... Oh, it was there. No, it just went past. <laughs> That's all right. We can figure that out later. All right, and here we are all the way down at bedrock level. And so next, what I'm actually going to go ahead and do is get up to diamond level and I'm going to place another one of these things down. And I believe, yes, we can. We can actually go in here and change what the floor is. We actually, oh, we can even type in things. Can we make it like a bot as in for bottom? And then will this, it does. That's so cool. It shows bottom. So I can name this one bottom. I can name the next one like diamond, like DIA or something. I don't know. But uh, yeah, basically I'm going to look up what diamond level is because I completely forgot. I'm going to build all the way up there and add in another floor real quick. So uh, yeah, I'll be back in a second. Okay, well, I'm an idiot. It turns out we were pretty much basically already on the perfect perfect layer for mining diamonds. So instead what I've done is I've just made another floor here and this one is just called cave because that, uh, you know, it leads to a cave. So let's whack another button on here and bring the elevator all the way back up. I'm kind of scared to look. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. And there we go. Now we can just jump in. We can set this to zero, which is the ground floor, which is what I'm going to rename it to. Let's just do g.fl, you know, ground floor. And then let's go up to the top and I'll just name this one top. So now we have all of our named floors. That is so cool, dude. I love that. Let's go back down to the ground floor. God, that's so good, man. Okay, gamers. Now with our drill done, our elevator done, it is now... Oh, I just realized I left some scaffolding up there. Um... Uh, that's okay. We'll get to that later. It is now time to go ahead and actually start building our sorting system inside here. And uh, actually the floor for that matter as well. And an entrance too. We, <laughs> we don't even have a way to get up here. So actually I think right here would be a pretty nice spot. I added this like little sticking out section. I feel like this might be a nice little spot for uh, an entrance, I guess. All right, so I've just gone ahead and placed some trap doors there. Next, let's go ahead and just add some andesite ladders on like so. And hell yeah, that is awesome, dude. Next up, I'm going to go ahead and just quickly fill in the entire floor here with a whole bunch of spruce slabs. So yeah, give me a second. Okay, there we go. There's our floor all added in. All right, so I've actually just gone ahead and raised this portable storage interface up one block so that we can actually withdraw items from it and put it straight onto a belt nice and easily. So I think the simplest way is going to be uh, obviously just taking items out from here. Oh, that's annoying. It's going to 
freaking take out the tracks and stuff. Okay, that's why we have these filters. We're going to put in powered rails and also redstone torches. We're going to put them on the deny list and tick. Now we can put this in here and now our rails and our redstone torches will not get taken out from the storage chest in the miner. All right, so now we've just got items kind of coming out from the miner and so we're going to be putting these onto some belts. So let's just place it like so for now. And so on top of these, we're going to be placing in some brass tunnels. This is what's going to allow us to branch off, uh, you know, multiple different items into different storages and also uh, to delete some items like cobblestone because obviously we have a stone generator over there. We don't really have a need for cobblestone at all so we can probably just go ahead and, uh, you know, incinerate that. So I'm going to quickly go grab some lava from my little lava farm down here. Okay, I'm back and we've now got this set up so far. So this filter right here is a deny cobblestone. So that means that basically everything but cobblestone is going to be passing through here. And then all of the cobblestone is going to continue Continue on here and then out this way. I'm hoping this is just going to kind of shoot it out against the wall and then down into some lava. And so I was struggling with a way to, uh, you know, kind of figure this out. So I went and seeked some inspiration and I found some from fellow create YouTuber Rage Players Games. He created a pretty awesome setup that I'm pretty much going to, uh, uh, yeah, just kind of steal for myself here. We're basically going to place a block here with a mechanical arm on top. This arm is going to grab from here and then it's going to go ahead and place in a bunch of chests. I don't know exactly how many we're going to need and how far this thing can actually reach. And so basically each of these chests is going to represent a different item that we're going to be storing. And I'll probably just have one chest be, uh, you know, all of the other random stuff. And then I've also got some item frames for the other side. Now, I don't know if this is going to be enough, but what I'm going to go ahead and do now is set up all of our filters. So I'm going to go to this list here. We're going to, you know, just for instance, grab coal. And that's going to give us, uh, excuse me, uh, a list here that only allows coal. Oh, I just really oh god damn it these need to be brass funnels because these don't accept the filters god damn it man okay <laughs> well i've only got seven brass funnels left so i'm gonna have to go back and make some real quick um yeah i'll be back okay i'm back i've replaced all of these with brass funnels and yeah like i was saying we're going to take our list filter here that allows only coal and we're going to place that in there and basically the arm is going to then take the item from here and place it specifically into this one that only allows coal and so i'm just going to set up the rest of these for the other items right now all right and there we go there's all of the filters set up around the front here i've got every single item that i want kind of uh, you know laid out here this bottom right one is going to be our miscellaneous items just like everything that pretty much isn't all of this stuff is going to go into this chest here and then i've also got three chests over here these two being spares and then this one's actually an item that we need to go and get later so uh yeah we'll sort that out soon but for now i want to set up our mechanical arm here so they're going to be taking from this belt and then simply just depositing to every single one of these uh well actually yeah we do need to get power to that first. Uh, so yeah, let's sort that out. All right, well, uh, yeah, it turns out this was not set up very well. We just lost a whole bunch of items into our little trash bin over here. I had to add another filter here that only allows cobblestone through. But yeah, it actually does work if we go ahead and throw some cobblestone in. As you can see, bang, it gets sent straight into the bin. Uh, we do need to power our arm, so let's get that sorted out now. And we should be able to do something just as simple as that and then simply placing a cogwheel right there. And bang, there we go. Okay, cobble deep slate. Yes, is over there. Okay, I guess we've got a lot of cobbled deep slate. Uh, that should go over here because I haven't put a... Yes, it does. Oh, dude. As you can see, it is placing all of them properly. So diorites getting placed in there and gravel should be over there. Yes, it is. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much our sorting system all completed and working absolutely perfectly. I can't believe how easy that was to set up. And so now it's time to address this item right here, which is actually going to be ancient debris, meaning we need to go to the nether to find some. And coincidentally, I have two of your guys' commented ideas ideas, one saying upgrade your armor, and the other one saying to make something nether related like a machine in the nether. Now, I don't really know if this qualifies, but basically we're going to be taking our miner and putting it in the nether. Sorry if you can hear my son in the background, he is once again having dinner. So yeah, I don't know if that really qualifies, but technically we are putting a machine in the nether, so yeah, in my books, um... We're all good. <laughs> and yeah, now let's head off to the nether to find some ancient debris. Dude, once again, there is so many animals on this hill. When I built this nether portal, there was just so many here. I don't know what it is about this hill, but um, yeah, we're just not going to worry about it. Okay, here we are in the nether. Uh, we're going to have to find a decent spot to mine at. Because yeah, we are in a pretty crappy biome. We might actually just be able to dig straight down here. So let's try that. Dude, this kid is so weird.
Okay, we're now down at optimal netherite mining layer. Let's go ahead and place down a powered rail and also our minecart contraption. That lag kind of scared me for a second there. Now, all we'll need to do is just go ahead and give it a push. And off it goes. Uh, well, actually, oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, we need to clear out a little bit more of an area. So just give me a second. All right, that should be enough room. Take two. Let's push this and uh, give it another try. Oh my God, why... It's doing the same crap. What the hell is happening right now? Okay, there we go. There's the cave that is actually digging out. Okay, we just needed to dig a little bit further in. Okay, take three. Off we go. Off we go. Okay, Jesus Christ, man. Now, I realize we are in a, uh, you know, a basalt biome. I don't know if ancient debris actually spawns here, so we might need to dig a uh, quite a distance. Oh, my God, and there's lava coming already. Yeah, see, that's... <gasps> oh, my God, I just got goosebumps. Look at how close that was to getting destroyed. Holy mother of God. Dude, if that got incinerated, I would have shit myself and cried at the same time. But yeah, I don't think we're in the right biome to find netherite. Um, so yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, yeah, I'm going to figure something out right now. Okay, what I ended up doing was just finding my original bridge I made that goes over to a nether wastes biome and just digging down there. Okay, just a quick update. I've resorted to uh, using the miner again because I have not been able to find a single piece in ages and I've just kind of been babysitting it for when it comes into lava oh my god dude once again that was so freaking close what am i doing okay well yeah at this point i'm kind of just hoping that it has found some ancient debris oh my god there's some holy crap i just got goosebumps dude oh, finally man okay at least we've guaranteed got one for the uh item frame but i do want to get enough to upgrade at least one piece of my armor to uh technically complete that guy's comment so i'm gonna patch up this lava here and continue mining and uh yeah just kind of hope and pray that we get uh a bunch all right we are back from the nether with a very successful successful mining session. I ended up getting six pieces of ancient debris just from like the walls and stuff around the miner that it didn't actually pick up. So let's use one of these pieces here to fill in this slot right here. Hell yes, dude. It's kind of sad knowing that this is wasted in this item slot, but uh, that's that's okay. Now what it's time to do is deploy our minecart and head up here and watch everything get unloaded and see if we actually got any ancient debris. Uh, why aren't these connecting up? What the hell? Oh, well, these were connecting up before. I don't know why they're not working now. That is actually kind of annoying. Okay, I've just gone ahead and raised the portable storage interface up one block on our mining machine. Now, when we power this, it should all get connected. There we go. Now it's starting to pull the items out. I'm just kind of excited to see if we're actually going to get any ancient debris from this. Oh, no. The chest's full. We just have too much freaking netherrack. Okay, I have an idea on how to fix this. Okay, there we go. We've got it working again. I don't know why it keeps stuffing up. Oh, I just saw some ancient debris. But yeah, as you can see, our netherrack is now just getting sent straight into the garbage instead of into our chest here where it is just completely filled it up to the brim. Oh, I just threw my whole stack of food out. God, <laughs> God damn it, dude. All right, let's go turn this debris into some netherite scrap and upgrade our armor. Okay, now, unfortunately, we do only have enough for one uh, netherite ingot here. I kind of crafted that like an absolute moron. I don't know what I was doing there. And yeah, do we upgrade our diamond chest plate or my diamond pickaxe? Honestly, I think the pickaxe is going to be better. So technically, I'm not finishing that guy's comment. What the hell am I doing? It's in a smithing table. God damn it, I'm an idiot, man. Okay, there we go. Jesus Christ. Uh, so yeah, like I was saying, I'm I'm technically not finishing that guy's comment. What am I doing? What am I doing wrong? Tell me. Oh my god, I completely forgot they changed it and that you need these freaking templates now, which you need to find in a bastion. Oh, well, it uh, looks like we're going back to the nether. Oh my god, finally, after literally almost probably around an hour at this point. Oh, yes, there's one in there. Thank Christ for that, dude. I'm never doing this again. I don't know what these do, but I'm taking them. I don't give a shit anymore. Oh, also, there's some gold blocks over there. I will definitely be taking these. Thank you. And we're back. Oh my god, that was such a hassle. And before we use this, I'm actually going to go ahead and duplicate it so that we never have to do that crap again. And I'm going to put this away in a safe spot. Okay, now let's finally go ahead and upgrade my pickaxe. Oh my god, that took way too long. Bang, there we go. We finally have our first netherite item, a pickaxe. Hell yeah. Okay, now with uh, technically those two comments out of the way, I think it's time to beautify the exterior of our new mining compound here. Let's get started. For the first order of business, it was time to address the floor. Right now, it's just grass, and I wanted a more established look, so I opted for a floor textured with stone, andesite, and gravel. Next, it was on to adding some various details like a belt, item vault, and some iron and copper ore piles, along with a barrel pile and a pathway as well. 
All right, and there's the final fully decorated mining facility all done. If you want to download this along with anything that I've created in this Create Mod series so far, be sure to check out my Patreon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.